Hello, everybody, and welcome to problem 7-3. So this is my bad debt reporting aging. So Manilow, or Barry, operates in an industry that has a high rate of bad debts before any year in adjustments. The balance in Manilow's accounts receivable was 555000 and the allowance for doubtful accounts had a credit balance of 40000 So let's write in here for the ADA. Okay, the year end balance reported in the sheet based on the aging below. So this had a beginning of 40,000. Okay, so the amount here Okay, so in terms of the receivables, okay, so right over here, they're telling us here, I'm not gonna include that amount because that's gonna be fully adjustment. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and write that off. When I'm writing off a receivable, I'm going ahead and I am debiting the allowance for doubtful accounts and I'm crediting AR. So we'll just go ahead and do that for them right now. Okay, so this is zero. Now, if, that, if the probability of collection is 98%, that's, you know, we'll, that we'll actually be collecting. The probability of not collect is going here is gonna be 2% or one minus, okay, this here would be 0.1 or one minus 0.9. This here is gonna be 0.15 or one minus 0.85. And then this here, oh, missed a category. Wow, I'm losing it. It's official. I can run for president now. Okay, 300, 180, 40, 20. Okay. Okay, so this here is gonna be 0.2, one minus 0.8. And then here is gonna be 0.45, um, this will be one minus 0.55, okay. So the reserve, or the amount that I'm in reserve is gonna be the dollar amount of the receivable times the probability that it will not be collected. So this here is a probability of collection. I'm more concerned with the probability of it not being collected. So when I multiply this through, the ending balance and my allowance for doubtful accounts should be $45,000. Okay, so the appropriate balance and my allowance for doubtful accounts should be $45,000. The next one it's asking me for is it saying that the balance in the account was 555,000. Now, when I wrote this off, and when you see this here where it says to be written off, when we, write, when we wrote off this account receivable, so my balance in accounts receivable was Okay, so before this write-off that I just made, it was 555,000. But once I wrote off this 15,000, my ending balance and accounts receivable is now 540,000. That was a great way to go through and to check our work. Okay, so what is the appropriate balance for the allowance for doubtful accounts at year end? It's 45,000. Show how the accounts receivable would be presented on the balance sheet. You're gonna have accounts receivable. The accounts receivable is gonna be at 540, less the allowance for doubtful accounts. This is a contra asset account. So my accounts receivable net is going to be at 495. What is the dollar effect of the year end bad debt adjust, adjustment on the before tax income? So right over here, I think what this is asking me in a very fancy way is what is our adjustment here for bad debt expense? So 40,000 plus X 
minus 15 gives me 45. So 40 plus x minus 15 equals 45. So this is 25 plus x equals 45. x is going to be equal to 20. If I put 20,000 in here, 40 plus 20 minus 15 gives me 45. So my adjusting journal, 1231x1. I'm debiting um, bad debt expense. Crediting the allowance for doubtful accounts over here for 20,000. Debot. Okay. You'll notice on these problems, on problems 7.3 and 7.4, when it comes to this, I go through it really quickly. Please take a look at a lot of my other instructional videos that I have out there when it comes to accounts receivable. Once you realize that how I go through and the processes that I go through to solve all these different kind of questions are the same, it'll make it a lot easier for you to learn. So thank you for joining me here today. I look forward to seeing you on the next video and I'll see you soon.